Hello friends, I'm Christopher and I love to garden. My love for gardening has grown over the years and this video is part of a series where I recognize other YouTube content creators and family and friends who have taught me things over the years and I showcase some of the things that I've learned from them and how I've implemented their techniques in my garden. One of the most influential, actually, I would say the most influential YouTube content creator um, who's had an impact on my gardening is Patrick from the One Yard Revolution channel. Let's go, buddy. There's so much to say about how Patrick has influenced my garden that I wrote down notes so that I don't forget anything, even though I know I'm going to. So let's just begin. Uh, the One Yard Revolution channel uh, is filmed on location somewhere around Chicago, Illinois, maybe three hours south of here. Uh, I'm in Oshkosh, gardening zone 5A, and I think he's 5A, or maybe 5B. Either way, it's my gardening zone, so anything that he does down there, I should be able to do too, and that is hugely motivational to me, because I have taken this plot of land here and completely transformed it over the last four years, and a lot of the decisions that I've made for you know, what to change and what to grow um, have come from uh, what I've seen work in Patrick's garden. Oh gosh, where to begin? I think the video of his, he has lots of great content, um, puts things out weekly, has for many years. The video of his that I've watched the most, at least recently, is his video on building affordable and effective um, raised beds. It was his technique that I used to build these. A slight permutation on it just because of the size of beds that I built, but it's, it's essentially his technique. Two by tens, excuse me, there's some loud motorcycles going on the street behind me. Uh, two by tens capped off with two by fours and some scrap material underneath it. So you can go around and you can, uh, you can sit on them like I do. Now that I've got these, I have chairs throughout the garden. It makes it really nice, comfortable, and uh, it's a good way to actually sit down and engage your garden without bending over and breaking your back. I really love it. Thank you, Patrick. So uh, those of you who have been following my channel for a while have noticed that these are new. Um, I recently got about 15 yards of free wood chips. And uh, this is a real game changer for me. It's amazing on weed suppression. It's so nice to walk on. It's got, you know, puts a spring in my step. I can be out here when it's raining and wet. Whereas, you know, forever prior to this, I was walking on wet clay and it's like, yeah, I don't even wanna go out in the garden like that. So wood chips. And I've learned from Patrick that as these um, decompose over the years, these, it's actually going to enhance the clay soil that's underneath. So I'll be able to continue to use this, the, uh, the clay underneath here to amend raised beds, make more uh, garden bags, and you know, just use the soil. I could plant, probably in a couple years, move these to the side and plant right in here and it would be really, really nice soil. Um, that's exciting. Uh, he's got another great video that I'm just thinking of off the top of my head. Uh, I think he went in a spot in his garden and he dug down, uh, I don't know, 16 inches, maybe it was even longer, than, deeper than that, but he showed what it looked like in his yard before they started using chips and mulch and what it looked like after, and it was just, it, it was a miracle. It was a gardening miracle, and it was all natural, just using free materials and good common sense. So, super cool. Um, so thanks for the tip on wood chips as well. The next thing that I'm going to be implementing uh, that I've learned from the One Yard Revolution channel is, uh, well, this fall, I intend to build some cold frames and maybe some double low tunnels. Those are going to extend my growing season a couple weeks earlier into the spring and later into the fall. I don't think I'm going to do um, a hoop house like Patrick did, but that's okay, my low tunnels will really up my game a lot. You know, adding six weeks to my growing season, that's just, it's flabbergasting. I, I can't imagine what it's going to be like. But I know when that time comes, I'll be re-watching those videos on double low frames or double low tunnels and anything else. Patrick's been influential on some other gardeners that I watch too, so uh, I'm sure you're already probably subscribed to him. He's got at least a hundred some thousand people um, subscribed to his channel. Um, I 
you know, in the future, when I get this garden completely fenced in and the only way in or out is through the door behind me, I will bring my dog Moose in here regularly for videos. So I'll have a, a garden buddy, much like Patrick has um, his, his cat Oscar, who's adorable. He even does blooper videos with Oscar. I think it's terrific. Yeah, so Patrick's just been very influential. I think for this video, the reason why I'm sitting down and I've got the camera up way high, that's all another allusion to the, where his camera usually is as he's walking and he's got that high shot. So I don't know, I guess, I guess this is kind of like my fangirl moment. Um, thanks Patrick for being awesome and uh, everybody should check him out. Did I cover everything? Chicago, extended growing season, his cat Oscar, how to raise bed video. Oh yeah, one last thing. I think he's a vegetarian. I think I maybe remember that, I don't know. But as I age, and this is another thing that I never expected, my stomach is having a harder and harder time just processing meat. So we're eating more vegetables. So the whole point of building this garden is that we'll have uh, regular access to, you know, very local, uh, very accessible greens and other vegetables year round that we can amend and, you know, not necessarily go vegetarian, but just eat lots more vegetables. So it's very inspiring. Now I just need to get some sweet shirts like his and uh, I think we'll be good to go. So if you're new, I hope you subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching. Go check out Patrick's channel, One Yard Revolution and be inspired and uh, grow something amazing. So uh, what's, what does he always end with? If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe for more videos on how to grow a lot of food on a little land without spending much or working harder than you have to. Yeah, exactly. I'm living proof. Thanks guys. Take care. Happy growing.